Hey Team Bio, I am in Atlanta. It is about 45 degrees and sunny outside. Uh, it's good to be here. Um, so I'm gonna give you a quick screencast on hibernation and torpor. Um, so I think you all have a basic idea of what hibernation is. It's when a, a, an organism greatly reduces its, uh, its requirement for energy, so its metabolic rate drops dramatically. Um, and you can think of torpor as much the same thing as hibernation, but over a shorter period of time. Um, so a common misconception about hibernation and torpor is that um, a low temperature is what causes animals to go into this state. And a lot of students normally think of the winter as, um, as causing animals to go into either hibernation or torpor. And it's true, a lot of animals do go into hibernation in the winter, um, or this is the main time that they do it, but it's not actually because of the low temperature. It's because that during the winter period, there is just not enough of this. Food. Um, all, as you know from the journal article, all your primary producers, like your trees and your shrubs and um, all your plant life, stops producing. Um, there's not enough sunlight to make it worth it for these organisms to keep their leaves. So they shed their leaves and um, they stop making food. And if there's no food, um, if the, the, the producers aren't producing, then the small consumers aren't consuming, and then the small consumers aren't consuming, so the larger consumers can't consume the small consumers. So everything begins to shut down, not because it's cold out, just because there's a lack of food. So let's take a closer look at a really awesome animal called a ground squirrel. Now here's a little picture of a ground squirrel um, in hibernation. Uh, these creatures are really truly amazing. They can actually drop their their average body temperature is about 37 degrees Celsius um, in their active state. But when they go into hibernation, they can actually drop their body temperature to zero degrees Celsius. So you could pick this guy up and he would feel like he was frozen um, and he would appear dead to you. Um, but he's not. He's just in this deep, deep state of hibernation. Now, a kind of interesting thing about hibernation is that it's easy to go into. All it requires is a reduction in the amount of, it requires a, a huge reduction in the amount of energy that you're using. So, in a sense, entering hibernation is saving um, a lot of energy for the organism. Um, however, coming out of hibernation um, requires an enormous amount of energy. So there's an enormous amount of energy expended for the organism to wake up um, or come out of this, this hibernation state. Um, it, it's because the organism almost has to overshoot its, um, its set point. So the amount of energy required to raise up its, its body temperature and, and jumpstart its metabolism um, up to normal is enormous. Um, and these ground squirrels, they actually have to come out of hibernation about between six and seven times over the course of the winter. So this is an enormous um, energetic burden for the squirrel. And if this guy hasn't laid down enough fat um, early on in the season, um, then he can actually starve as he comes out of his hibernation period. Um, kind of crazy to think about that. So um, just the act of waking up in itself could starve this organism. Um, and maybe that begs the question, why does he have to wake up at all? Well, it's because toxins um, build up in his body over the course of the season, and so he's got to wake up to pee and to poop and to potentially eat a little bit more as well. Um, but yeah, kind of scary situation, injury hibernation, and not sure if you have enough reserves to wake back up again. Um, Crazy, crazy. Okay, so let's compare the ground squirrel to a bear. So there's actually some debate as to whether bears um, actually enter a true hibernation state. Um, because unlike squirrels, their average body temperature does not drop to the whatever the to match the ambient temperature around them. So normal active body temperature for a bear would be about 37 degrees Celsius in the active state. 
and um, during hibernation, a bear's body temperature will drop to about 33 degrees Celsius during hibernation. Um, and it, again, this is in contrast to the ground squirrel whose um, body temperature will drop to as low as zero degrees Celsius. Um, and again, so this is temp body temperature. And um, the heart rate of a bear will drop from um, about 50 to 60 BPM, oops, BPM stands for beats per minute, to about 8 to 12 BPM. And this is in contrast again to the ground squirrel whose, um, whose heart rate can, can almost drop to zero. Um, so what's the trade-off for the bear, or what does the bear get out of dropping into this not so deep hibernation state. Well, as we said before, the ground squirrel has to come out of um, hibernation about um, six to seven times over the course of the winter season, and that is very, very costly energetically for the squirrel to, to warm itself back up. And, and it needs to do that in order to eliminate the toxins that are building up in its body. However, bears, they can enter this hibernation state and stay under um, for all seven months of the winter season without rising, um, rising from hibernation months, which is pretty incredible um, when you think about it. Um, so that's it for this screencast. Just remember that hibernation and torpor not caused by low temperatures, but instead by a lack of food resources. Okay, that's it. Have a good, hope you're having a fantastic long weekend and I will see you all on Monday.